So what is SPL? Well, it stands for sound pressure level. And it's a rating that is applied to speakers from pretty much all speaker manufacturers. And is a very much of an integral part of choosing a loudspeaker for a sound system. And basically, the SPL is a sensitivity or like an efficiency measurement of a single speaker or of a whole speaker cabinet. And basically, the measurements are conducted with one watt of power and a microphone sitting about 3.2 feet away or one meter away from the speaker when the speaker is being fed with one watt. And what they do is they take that measurement and that measurement that they come up with is, is what the SPL measure is, the sound pressure level or the sensitivity rating of that speaker. And when you're looking at speaker specs, uh, what's down there at the bottom, like the one watt at one meter, uh, the word sensitivity is there, there uh, one watt slash one M. Those are all saying the same thing when you're trying to find an SPL rating on a speaker. So just look for something like that for the, your SPL rating. So let's take a look at a, a fictitious speaker. Here we have one that's 100 watts continuous, 200 watts RMS, 400 watts peak. 8 ohms sensitivity is 80 dB. That's what we're looking at. That's what the whole slide presentation is. So at this point, don't look at too much at the watts of the speaker. Look at the sensitivity of the speaker. So let's take a look at another speaker cabinet. This one here is at the same power levels, the same drivers, everything on it's exactly the same, except for the sensitivity, which is 83 dB, which is it's 3 dB louder. So looking at these specs, which cabinet is going to be louder than the other one? Well, here's pretty much how the, uh, the uh, decibels are figured out. So an increase of 3 dB doubles the output and a decrease of 3 dB reduces the output by half. So we'll come back to this one. Sensitivity, higher is better. And for those of you who have home stereos, uh, unless you've got some really nice speakers, the home stereo speakers, SPLs, are generally very low compared to professional, professional line of loudspeakers. And the 105 dB that you see there is very conservative. Many times uh, the dB on the higher end can go a lot higher than, than 105 dB. So some of the manufacturers will list the whole cabinet, which is fine. Just make sure you know what rating you're looking at. So is the rating the whole cabinet or is the rating an individual driver? If the rating is an individual driver, more than likely that speaker cabinet can be either biamped or triamped. So how much power? So let's take a look at, and this is all fictitious here, let's take a look at a speaker that has 100 dB SPL and we're going to send that speaker 100 watts from our amplifier. So what we perceive at the end when we're listening to the speaker is, let's just say 100 watts. That's why I have the acoustic output in quotes. So when we put 100 watts into a 100 dB speaker, we should hear 100 watts. Now, what if we take that same 100 watts and put it into a speaker that's 97 dB? Well, it would take 200 watts actually running to a 97 dB speaker to get the same acoustical output of 100 watts. Now, 94 dB speaker, it would take 400 watts for us to get an acoustical output, what we hear, to be at 100 watts. And as you can tell, as the decibel rating, the SPL rating, goes down for the speaker, the amount of power goes up. And this is why using low efficiency or low SPL speakers is not a good idea uh, when providing sound. So back to our, uh, back to our speakers. So which one is louder? Well, now let's put some wattage to it. Let's do 100 watts into the top speaker and we'll do 50 watts, half of that into the bottom speaker. 
So which one is louder? Well, it's not really a trick question. Could be, but the answer is acoustically, there'd be no change. And that's because the bottom speaker is 3 dB more efficient than the top speaker. So for the bottom speaker, all we'd have to do is put 50 watts into it to have it equate the same acoustical output as the top speaker. Once again, this is why SPL efficiency ratings are very important. So let's take a look at the same speaker again, exactly the same speaker, except we're going to put 100 watts into the bottom one instead of the top one. So how much louder would the bottom one be? They're both giving 100 watts, but the bottom one is 3 dB more efficient. Well, it would come out like it was 200 watts. We would acoustically hear something that sounded like it was 200 watts. Now granted, these, these power ratings that between 100 and 200 watts really isn't much. You may be able to tell the difference, but in reality, when you're working with low wattages like this, it's really hard to tell the difference. Uh, you can tell a much bigger difference when you get into much larger sound systems where there's thousands of watts. So, our speaker again, and the bottom one, same speaker, same power rating, except its sensitivity is 92 dB. So what if we apply 100 watts to each of these speakers, and notably the one at the bottom there, the 92 dB? Well, because it's 12 dB more efficient, it's going to put out something that's going to sound like 1600 watts with just 100 watts of power. But then just for the fun of it, if we wanted to have both speakers, namely the bottom one, the 92 dB efficient speaker, if we wanted both of these to sound the same when playing power to it, we would only need 6 watts on that bottom speaker to make it sound like what's coming out of the top speaker. Said so efficiency is extremely important with speakers. So use high SPL speakers. Uh, speaker watts are very important, but so is the SPL. And there is a reason why some speakers do sound better or louder than other speakers. And you, you've probably heard people say, oh, this speaker, for whatever reason, this speaker just sounds better, it sounds great. Well, it's probably more efficient. And you can increase your system output by using more efficient speakers. So maybe you don't need more amplifiers, you don't need bigger or larger amplifiers. What you may need is just to replace your speakers with something that's more efficient. And really, to learn more about it, research the topic. I said this is just a, a brief overview of it, hopefully to get you interested in the SPL ratings. And as always, thanks for watching.